one of the most beautiful planets in the solar system, Saturn. Huge gas giant with incredible rings. What is it? What secrets is it hiding? Let's try to understand all these questions and go on a journey to the sixth planet. The distance from Earth to Saturn is always changing. This is due to different speeds planets in their orbits, but on average it is 1.28 billion kilometers, in which case the flight to Saturn will take from 5 to 6 years. Our route will take place first through the Moon, is our only satellite, through Mars, through the asteroid belt. After that, we'll fly other Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system. And after a long flight, we can finally see in the porthole of the incredible beauty of the rings of Saturn. How did Saturn come about? Like all the other planets, Saturn formed from a solar nebula about 4.6 billion years ago. Its a solar nebula was a vast cloud of cold gas and dust, which may have collided with another cloud or supernova shock wave. This event initiated onset of proto-solar nebula contraction with further education of the solar system. The cloud was starting until a protostar formed in the center which was surrounded by a flat disk of material. The inside of this disk contained more heavy and formed the planets of the terrestrial group, while the outer region was quite cold and, in fact, it remained intact. The material of the solar nebula formed more and more planetesimals. These planetesimals collided together, merging into planets. At some point in the early history of Saturn, its satellite approximately 300 km across was torn apart by its gravity and created rings that still revolve around the planet today. In fact, the basic parameters of the planet directly depended on the place its formation and the amount of gas it could capture. Since Saturn is smaller than Jupiter, it cools faster. Astronomers believe that once it's outer, the atmosphere has cooled to 15 degrees Kelvin. The helium condensed into droplets that began to sink to the nucleus. The friction of these drops warmed up the planet, and now it's emitting about 2.3 times more energy than it gets from the Sun. Saturn, if you count the distance from the Sun, is the sixth planet, and if by size, the second. It's a gas giant with a mass 95 times that of the Earth. It has the lowest density of all planets and is even smaller than that of water. The planet Saturn is perhaps one of the most beautiful and mysterious. Its appearance emits and beckons. The fairy tale rings create a feeling of something unusual, because of them, it's impossible to confuse with another planet. It's one of a kind. The interior is very similar to Jupiter. Scientists assume that there is a large silicate metallic nucleus at the center of the planet. So, at a depth of about 30,000 km, the temperature is 10,000 degrees Celsius, and the pressure is about 3 million atmospheres. In the core itself, the pressure is even higher, and it's so is the temperature. It's the source of heat that warms in the entire planet. Saturn emits more than heat that it receives from the Sun. The nucleus is surrounded by hydrogen, which is in a metallic state, and above it, which is closer to the surface, is a layer of liquid molecular hydrogen, which passes into its gas phase adjacent to the atmosphere. 
the magnetic field of the planet has a unique feature, which is to coincide with the axis of rotation of the planet. Saturn's magnetosphere is symmetrical, but the radio poles are regular and void. Saturn doesn't have a hard surface, and what we see is just the top of the clouds. The upper layer consists of frozen ammonia, and the lower layer is made of ammonium. The closer to the planet, the denser and hotter the hydrogen atmosphere. There are strong winds in Saturn's atmosphere. Their speed is so great, which is about 500 km per hour, and sometimes it reaches 1500 km per hour. Agree, a rather unpleasant phenomenon, but from Earth they look very beautiful. The planet is ravaged by real cyclones, the biggest of which is a large white oval. It got its name for its appearance and is the most powerful anticyclone systematically appearing on the surface approximately once every 30 years. Its size is just giant and makes about 17,000 kilometers. The atmosphere of the planet is mainly hydrogen and helium. There is absolutely a little bit of nitrogen. Ammonia clouds are absurd in the upper layers. There are also such formation as spots. However, they are not as visible as for example in Jupiter, but still some fairly large and reach about 11,000 kilometers. That is quite impressive. There are bright spots, there are much less, only about 3000 km, as well brown, the size of which is 10,000 km. There are also straps that scientists assume appear from the temperature difference. There are quite a lot of them and it is in the center the bands blow the most powerful winds. The upper atmosphere is very cold. Temperatures range from minus 180 degrees Celsius to minus 150 degrees Celsius. It may be freezing cold, but if there was no core inside the planet, heating and heating, the temperature of the atmosphere would be noticeable, the sun is far away. Saturn has only 82 satellites, they have different shapes, but most of them, they are small. Mostly ice formation and only a few of them have rock impurities. The names of many satellites descended from the names of the Titans and their descendants, as the very name of the planet descended from Cronus, who commanded them. The natural moons of Saturn are numerous and varied. The planet and its satellites resemble to the solar system in miniature. Some of them go full circle around Saturn in a half a day while others take about four terrestrial years to one time around the planet. The planet's largest moons are Titan, Phobia, Enceladus, Mimas, Tephia, Dion, Rhea, Hyperion and Yapet. They, except Phobia, rotate synchronously and are constantly turned to one side relative to Saturn. Many scholars speculate that Titan is very similar in structure and some other parameters with young Earth. Saturn has two very interesting moons, Enceladus and Titan. Let's talk about the first, Enceladus, one of the smallest satellites of Saturn in the correct spherical shape, but it's the largest in a series of inner satellites and its remoteness from the planet is 237,000 km. The flight around Saturn takes 33 hours. Like our moon, a small moon faces its planet always one side. The main component of Enceladus is water ice. So the surface, the planet has almost white color and very high reflectivity. The landscape here is quite diverse. You come across a really smooth, ripe, as well as broken craters. There are not many craters on the surface, but there are ledges and long cracks. Assuming that the formation of Enceladus, like on other ice moons of Saturn, it was fast, and we can judge its composition. Most likely there is a stone core surrounded by an ice mantle. 
Geological activity can provide strong core heating, which must be in some places molten. The solar system has many places where microbial life is possible, but Enceladus is particularly attractive in this regard. This is confirmed by the organic compounds found in salt. All the beneficial factors are the presence of an ocean of liquid water, not very deep, rocky silicate core, hydrothermal activity. Titan is the sixth moon of the planet Saturn, the sixth planet from the Sun. Saturn's largest moon, Titan, is an icy world whose surface is completely obscured by a misty atmosphere of golden shade. Titan is the second largest satellite in our solar system. Jupiter's moon, Ganymede, is only 2% larger. Titan is larger than the Earth's moon and even larger than Mercury. This giant moon is the only satellite in the solar system with a dense atmosphere. Moreover, it is the only world apart from the Earth on the surface of which there are rifts, lakes and seas. Like Earth, Titan's atmosphere consists mainly of nitrogen and a small amount of methane. This is the only place in the solar system apart from the Earth that it is known that there is a cycle of fluids that we are used to. From the clouds they get to the surface of the Moon and fill the lakes and seas, and then evaporate and evaporate back to the sky. It is also believed that the Titan has an ice ocean that is salty like the Dead Sea. So, how are people going to live on Titan? Housing on Titan can be built like dwellings in the polar regions of the Earth, using airtight insulation and piles to protect the ice and frozen hydrocarbons on which it stands. Simple double doors will keep oxygen inside. If the dwelling is leaking, it needs to be removed, but it poses no immediate threat. Fix the problem before proper repair can be a piece of duct tape. The ubiquitous hydrocarbons contain a lot of carcinogens, so it is important to clean and remove street clothes when going home. The gravitational pull of Titan is only 14% of the Earth, even less than the lunar 17%. In the weak lunar gravitation, the astronauts Apollo moved by jumps. On Titan, with even less gravity, they would be additionally supported by a dense atmosphere. In a suit with wings, they would easily plan for a long distance. The human body will probably adapt to Titan in such a way that it will make it difficult to return to Earth. Saturn has not been the subject of much cosmic exploration. The first spacecraft to visit the planet was Pioneer 11, launched by NASA in 1973. He made images of Saturn in low resolution and discovered the thin ring F. In 1977 NASA launched two more missions, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, which provided scientists have available data on Saturn, its moons and rings, and thousand images in high resolution. The twin ships are still in continuing their long journey. They explore interstellar space, previously not visited by Earth spacecraft. Launched in 1997, Automatic Interplanetary Station Cassini-Huggins was the fourth spacecraft to visit Saturn and the first. The mission included NASA's Cassini Station and the ESA Huggins probe, which was the first artificial object to have reached the surface of Titan and landed in the outer solar system. Moreover, Cassini was the first mission which explored the extraterrestrial ocean. The mission ended in 2017. The space station made 293 orbits around Saturn. In 2027, another mission to Saturn will be launched. NASA's mission Dragonfly will arrive on Titan in 2036 to explore the satellite and its availability. Saturn is a beautiful yet mysterious planet, the mysteries that we, humanity, have here to solve. And maybe in this century, the first man will enter the surface of Titan, thus opening new avenues for the study of Saturn, its satellites and the entire solar system.